We can move forward and back, left and right, up and down. Those are the three spatial dimensions. But the time dimension, you don't have access to the past or the future. We are prisoners of the present, forever transitioning between our inaccessible past and our unknowable future. But let's think this through. How would you imprison a two-dimensional creature? A square. Just draw a square. That's its prison cell. How do we put us in a cell? We have six walls. All right. A ceiling floor, four walls around us. All right. We think we are completely contained within it. A higher dimensional creature said, just step out and then step back in and you're outside the cell. We said, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Wait a minute. I said a four dimensional creature. If, if we had access to the fourth dimension, which for us is what? Time. Time. But wait, we're prisoners of time. So suppose we weren't prisoners of time. Suppose you could move through time the way we move through space. Could you then escape the prison? Yeah, just move to a time when I'm not in prison. Now, let me get out of these six walls here. You just go back to a time before you got put into prison or go to the future where you were let go from the prison. Right. Each of those counts as escaping the prison without ever breaking down the wall. So time can serve that same role if you had access to the past and to the future. Of course, we go higher this fifth dimension, sixth dimension. Mathematically, you can calculate what all the properties are, and it's fascinating.